Yeah, I was uh, watching YouTube and I saw a video on a guy that was uh, bending PVC and, and large or plastic tubes to make catamarans and he made a raft first net. And I thought, I wonder how hard it is to do this. Uh, so I thought I'd do a test. I just show it when I show you how the test worked. Yeah, I just wanted to show you how I cut the tubes at the moment. So I took a Dremel and I ran it up here, ran it straight up there and I made a cross line on top. That's the top of the boat, the catamaran we'll call it. And I made a little bit of a slant down. That's my end result after doing a couple of them. And it gave me good results. You can also see when you pinch it together you can see what's going to happen here. See, and then you can cut the top afterwards. But when you pinch it together you get an idea of what's going to happen there and it all comes together. You maybe do a little bit of a slot out here. I haven't decided that yet. But there you go. And then this kind of kind of overlaps and you have to cut this out and stretch a little. But it all comes together. So that's all I did. But I wanted to do it on plastic so I took this cheap this tube that was laying in the garage and um, I'm afraid my um, PVC glue ran out. You know if you're doing um, like the tubes and using PVC glue, the glue is as strong as the units. It's like two, you know, I've used them on um, 2000 PSI. So here you go. Here's the shape I got. That's just filler because I just wanted to make it look better and hold it together for the time being until I get the PVC glue. And there's the other side. I tried a second one. It's still drying. So it's not bad, you know, when you look at it like this. It's not a bad shape at all, really. I'm only going to do the front ends of them, of course. The back would be a little bit of a slant and most likely a rudder. But, you know, I'm not really building a boat yet. I'm just testing them out. Now, that was a very light PVC in it. When I, I used a heat gun to uh, melt them in, even the thick tube worked with a heat gun. But on this one, I uh, melted it together with uh, iron instead of using glue today. But I realized, I realized, you know, I can use the glue, um, epoxy it together, and then put something in the back of the tube, pour it in, to make sure it's waterproof afterwards. Right? So that's that done. So it's quite easy. So basically, it's going to be with some kind of a cement I'll be doing this. But look at, th this one is um, a drain PVC. I didn't think it would um, bend, but look at how nicely that bent. And if you look at the front there, this is just kind of like a epoxy filler, which I'm using today to make it look good. But I would most likely use cement normally. But you can also maybe, if you wanted to, you could fill in if you had a little bit of a dip and it wasn't perfect. So the boat would be like this, right? And there's the front of it. So it's pretty good, you know? And the bottom came out really quite nicely, right? So yeah, it's not that hard to bend. I don't know how it's going to work on a larger tube yet, but I might go a little bit bigger next time and try that out first. So can one bend PVC? That's about what? An eighth of an inch? Or a little bit more? Eighth of an inch, three sixteenths it nearly. And you know with the heat gun it went in. Now I don't know what I'm going to do on a larger pipe. I found this one too thin. You can see it's much thinner. I wouldn't use that. I'd use the thicker one. And then pour a liquid in behind to make sure it's waterproof. So there you go. It is achievable and it's not that hard. I'll be carrying on. I'll mostly make two tubes now and make a model and see how it works out. Especially the basics.